God bless you. This Saturday morning, November 18th, 2023, from Jeffersonville, Indiana. Here is the Eagles Gathering Together letter from Brother Joseph Branham at the Branham Tabernacle. Dear Apple of the Prophet's Heart, They are the ones that's been begotten to you by the Spirit and by the Word of Truth. And I pray that you will bless them, Lord, and keep them closely knitted together by the bonds of the love of Christ. Get ready! We're going to have blessings, anointings, and revelation like never before. We can feel it in our souls. Something is fixing to take place. The time is ready. We're so excited and under such great expectations. The bride around the world is gathering to hear from the throne of God a message that is going to take us to new heights and fill and fill and then refill us with the Holy Spirit. Scripture is going to be fulfilled. Warning has taken place. Judgment is at hand. The Lord is coming to call his bride to our wedding supper. The last call has went forth. God's coming has arrived. He's coming for us. We are his predestinated seed that sees it and has accepted it. Our sins have been demolished, gone. It's dropped into the ink of the blood of Jesus Christ, and it's never to be remembered. God has forgotten them all. We stand as a son and daughter of God in the presence of God. We are now, not we will be, we are now sons and daughters of God. We recognize one thing, the word, the tapes, this message, they are the same. And once, just a while ago, when you showed the vision, the little tabernacle here about to store up the food, that there would come a time when this would all be needed. Store up this food here for the time. Now is the time. This is the food. We are the people. We have the revelation. Others might miss the importance of the tape ministry. We don't. It is our lives. It is everything to us. It is more than life to us. When we have a question about something, we don't go ask someone to explain it to us or find it for us. We just do exactly as God's angel instructed us to do. If we fail to understand or have a question, do you get it? If you fail, come back to this tape again. I don't know how much longer I'll be with you. Remember, this is the truth of thus saith the Lord. It's the truth. It's the scripture. If you fail, come back to the tape. Don't get mad with us. That is what he said. Plus, this is the truth of thus saith the Lord. He didn't say part of it, some of it, or when someone interprets what is and isn't the anointed word. The tapes are thus saith the Lord. You might not get it or understand it or have it revealed to you yet, but to us, this is what he is telling us through his prophet. You know how you tell your wife things. You know the little girl you're going to marry. You love her so much. You just tell her the secrets and get her up next to you and love you and everything. You know how it is. That's what God, Christ, is doing to the church. See, he is letting her know the secrets, just the secrets, not these flirters, I mean his wife. And we are just taking it all in. Oh, 
Oh, how happy and excited a bride is right before her wedding. We can't hardly stand still. We are counting the minutes, the seconds. He just keeps telling us over and over how much he loves us. Satan keeps attacking us like never before. But what he is not prepared for is we now know who we are. There is no more doubt. We are the spoken word. We can and we do speak the word. We have Satan's answer. God has vindicated himself. God has proved himself. We are his living word and speak with all the authority he has given to us. And here he is today in his word manifesting the same thing he did there she can't recognize another headship no sir there's no bishop no nothing she recognizes one headship and that's christ and christ is the word oh my woo i love that uh, yes sir we belong to a kingdom and the kingdom is the word of God made spirit and life in our own life. Therefore, we are his living word. This truly says it all, my friends, if you have the true revelation to receive and believe it. Notice now, united together under one headship, in a like manner, type of Israel of old. Now you getting it? Like Israel of old, one God vindicated by a pillar of fire and revealed himself through a prophet to be the word. The same God, same pillar of fire, same way he cannot change his way. Is that just perfect as it can be? The prophet. Let that sink in. One God vindicated by a pillar of fire through a prophet to be the word for that day, and he cannot change. I could go on and on, and we could rejoice and fellowship over quote after quote. And we will from around the world this Sunday at 12 p.m. Jeffersonville time, as we hear, Christ is the mystery of God revealed. 63-0728 Brother Joseph Brandon Scriptures to read before the service St. Matthew chapter 16 verses 15 through 17 St. Luke the 24th chapter St. John chapter 5 verse 24 St. John chapter 14 verse 12 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, Ephesians, chapter 1, Colossians, chapter 1, Revelations, chapter 7, verses 9 through 10. Until next week, God bless you, and shalom.